I'm Will Primos, and you're watching Paul Corn Bow Hunting Channel. Paul Corn here from the Paul Corn Bow Hunting Channel, and we are so excited, super stoked to bring you this brand new video. We've got 150 deadly archery shots. Now, everybody's going to have a different definition of what the perfect shot is. I'm calling it deadly because all of these animals went relatively short distance after the shot, and uh, they all, you know, so they all expired within seconds, and they didn't go very far. I'm going to say all under 50 yards, a lot of them, a lot less than that. Matter of fact, you'll see some of the animals that actually drop right on the screen. You are going to see a variety of different animals on this video. We go to Africa, there's Africans Plains game, there's white-tailed deer, there's mule deer, there's bear, there's small game fish. Really just a lot of action. We really hope you enjoy this video. Spent a lot of time putting it together. This compilation is 100% all from videos that are on my YouTube channel. There's close to a thousand videos on there and you can, if you see something you like, you can actually look up and um, try to find the full length video on my channel. Just go in my channel, search it, and you should be able to find a particular hunt. If you see something really cool that you really like, check it out. Thank Paul here for allowing me to come up here. Getting a good feeling. Finally got drawn and squeezed off and thought it might have been a little low, but once we come back this morning, we had a pretty good blood trail and She just shot the bar. We've been sitting for three days, four I'm days. tracking, and a nice job, Lisa, sitting with you for the day. I mean, you guys are tough. You guys really, really hung in I there. I struggle with what to call the video. I wanted to call it perfect shots, but I think everybody knows perfect shot. The definition of that is different for everybody that bow hunts. To me, if you make a good shot and the animal is, expires within seconds, and he doesn't go very far, that to me is a deadly shot. Drilled him, buddy. Come on. I think I see him. Excited. Look at how monstrosity. Wow. Look at how big he is. I'm really excited. I made a great shot on him. I couldn't take it anymore. I just put it on him. So I could actually hear him thrashing in the brush back there. So I'm like 99% sure he's Didn't down. Didn't go very far. Just what I thought. He crashed down in through the brush and uh, my, my ears told me and... You got it done, man. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Awesome. I got to sit you here and we're able to get this all on film. It's covered in bright red blood. Mario Canada, Dorian, Corey Hayward, unbelievable hunt. We unfolded it pretty good with the stories in the blind of how we've been after him for the last few days. And this one came right in this morning. Right to where we seen him last night. First hour of the year, 2022, baby. Wyoming, a new state I never owned it before. Mountains in the background, couldn't ask for a better way to start the turkey season for us. Wow, 
I mean, congratulations, kid. Awesome, awesome. We had several bears in here today. We could hear them. And then uh, this one came in. Yeah. Well, we're going to go take a little look-see here and see what we got. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah, it went in that far and broke off. You yeah. you drilled him. Yeah, so he's clean. Look at that. Yeah, he went clean through him. He's, he's got him right in the heart. He ran off, and we just let him go overnight because we weren't sure. The shot looked good, but we weren't sure. He's a big bear. <laughs> It's September 9th here in Campbell County, Wyoming. Great shot, Bruce. Uh, I just couldn't help myself. It's such a beautiful buck, so it was a great hunt. It's been a good time here in Wyoming, and uh, I think I'm pretty sure I saw him go down. shot and uh this buck came in and was able to get about a 25 yard shot at him here he is so we come out here every year and always have a great fun and it's some of the best mule deer hunting I think that you'll find in the West. Gonna give it some time. We haven't heard the moan yet. <laughs> yeah, one of those uh, days. A lot of time to, to really look it over and judge it, but it was past the second yeah. ring, and so I mean, it's just, he really made a good shot. But no, I don't think we were here a half hour. Where to go? Kill a big one. Came in there on the other side of the feeder, so it was a little bit longer shot, but I didn't seem like I got that much penetration. You'll see by the replay, the arrow was hanging out pretty good. But it actually, we found the arrow on the trail and it actually went in that far. I just drilled a beautiful kind of blondish cinnamony, like some special blend of ice cream like you've never seen before. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, I've done it this time, buddy. What do you think, Dan? Oh, boy, that How's is such a pretty bear. Unbelievably awesome hunt. I cannot thank everybody enough. Nice bear. Perfect shot. He's down. <laughs> He's down. Listen. The wing came all the way from Alabama to the bottom of the United States, all the way to the top of the United States. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for inviting me. Finally. Oh. 
Oh my, what a quick, humane harvest, and he puts on a show to boot. Yeah. <laughs> Have a little barbecue with the guys, do a little chilling, and then uh, me and Cody, Nate got some business to do, so we're not done yet. He took her in the shorts, and he didn't go very far. He probably went about 40 yards after I shot. I, I couldn't be happier. It don't get any better than this. I'm hunting with Billy Rankin here at the 4J Ranch. In this video, I will show you 10 javelina that I take on this trip. This is number 5. Not to worry, all 10 will be shown. Listen closely and you can hear him snapping his teeth as he expires. Really nice javelina just came in and I made a great shot on it. It crossed here in front of the blind, went off to my right. I heard it, I heard it kicking around and making some noises back in there. So I'm really just about anything you want in, in Mexico. We're on private land, all free ranging stuff. We've seen a lot of deer, just haven't seen a lot of big ones. So I kind of switched over, I guess, pretty quickly to javelina hunting. But with the three I shot the first day, and then the one this morning, this right here, would be number five. So, there's my heavy. Camera was out of focus on this shot, but I think you get the idea. Here's number six. Havelina hunting in Mexico, gotta love it. Number six on the ground. Another later hunt, and I'm ready for number seven. Passed up several very good shots at Havelina and waited for a really good one. So I shot and he ran back off behind me. Hey man, thanks. Another one bites the dust, huh? I ended up, uh, that was number eight that I just shot. And I actually went out and recovered it already. Number nine is a quick job out of the side window of the blind that I was sitting in. He sure didn't go very far. Oh my, just before dark. 
number 10 shows up. Oh, can it be? There you go, there's number 10. Wow, what a hunt. Meh. Man, I just made a great shot on that beautiful pronghorn antelope. It's day number two. We're hunting just south of Gillette, Wyoming. Much to Bill and Cindy Mankin. Whoa, baby. I just drilled that bear. I've never had one ever before try to go through the crib. I can see a big hole there right now where he actually hit the crib and pounded through. Oh yeah, nice, nice bear. How cool are they, huh? Wow. Numzan Adventure, this is our fifth time here. It's my fourth of the mini antelope. Made a great shot on this little bugger. He only went about 30 yards and I couldn't be happier. He's an old, mature, I know he doesn't look very big, but trust me, he's old and mature. Wow. And a roan on the ground. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the help, everybody. Another great safari, man. It was, it was crazy how this thing came in. Good job. Good job. Oh, the blood ever coming out. Thank you. Gilbert, uh, one error in the in the magic triangle. On the road. Ooh, nice heavy. This wonderful Gims buck down today. After shooting hundreds of North American turkeys, we know for a fact the best place to shoot is directly above the legs. Really, just trying to stay away from that breast. Studying placement charts on ostrich looks very similar. The vitals may be a touch closer to the breast than a turkey but we still recommend following the legs directly up. Watch as Richard does just that. That's from turkey hunting. All right, so I was able to get this turkey today. This is the last couple of hours of my nine day hunt. I was able to get this wonderful ostrich down with one arrow. Hunting the dark continent, the stock is on. This dandy is anchored and goes nowhere. It doesn't even make it out of their sight. Close together. Which means you look at this wonderful sable down. Oh boy, the bears are chasing each other all around the bait. And eventually, this boar comes running in. One. Keep watching to get a glimpse of him going down. Down. He's going down. He's right there. He's going down. We got him. We got him. 
Now here's the one Corey is after. Hog down. We definitely made the best of it over the last few days. We've got six inches of rain. Uh, it's been wet, muddy, cold, but uh, we're getting the hogs. We're knocking them down. I can't wait to see what the next few days have in store. Good time, man. Right on. I just got an arrow into a really big blonde, blonde one. Looks like I hit him pretty good. He was dumping everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. That. I'm super excited. Day number one, I got one on the ground, same with Tricky Dicky. Got in this morning, uh, not even, as soon as the sun came up, they came to my stand, and I just statued. No pig, too big. This hog went less than 35 yards. and I can actually see the blood trail running out, kind of similar to, I shot one here a couple days ago and it ran the other way and I could see the blood trail going out, but I made a good hit. And there we go, there's our pig. Great place to hone your skills and put some great table fare. I mean, these things are unbelievably good eating and they're fun to hunt. Check it out as we're making bacon, baby. Amazingly tough these pigs are and I just laced him talk about a happy ending here it is buddy two hogs on the last evening I don't know, probably 8 39 o'clock we hear them you know starting to make their way this way big old flock comes in and knocked one dead <laughs> nice shot Twenty yard shot and an eight yard recovery. Way to go, Al. Hey, give it up. We hear the running, the running draw right now. Just draw. Draw. Actually, I don't know which one. Either one, they're both good. The first one. Okay. What? Okay. Can you do it? Drew back, put a good shot on. And Al collects his trophy. Beautiful Kansas reel. That was awesome. It's opening morning here at DCO, Northern Missouri. It's been an exciting morning. I've heard three different gobblers on the roost. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks for the old life. I'm with TCO, Tombstone Creek Outfitters. I put an awesome shot on him. That was unbelievable. Awesome afternoon hunt with Paul Corn behind the camera for me. Put a great shot on it. We never heard the death moan, but we saw blood spraying, so we thought we'd give it a little bit of time we snuck down to where blood everywhere we could see my light had knocked through the pine trees and we figured you know let's just go cut over there 
Oh man. Look at the size of that. Man, what a beautiful bear. Alejandro's getting her done. Kansas double opening day. Opening day in Kansas. Archery turkey season. We're able to get an arrow in one. Had uh, another one walking back and forth, checking on his buddy that was injured down uh, down on the ditch. So we uh, he, eventually he came in. We put a good shot on him. He died right by the decoys. You're watching A1 Archery on 365. No off season. These turkeys completely surprise us. I barely get the camera on just as Al shoots. We relocated the blind yesterday, kind of scouted out like yesterday afternoon. It's the second day and it's looking good for Al. Al was a little worried as it flew off, so they waited a couple hours and it was right inside the wood line. Mexico, Yucatan Peninsula, oscillated turkeys, baby. Hunting for brocket deer and oscillated turkey. This is my second trip last year. I shot a really nice oscillated. Right now we're deep in the jungle looking for brocket deer. We're sitting on this little water seep. A1 Archery hunting 365, no off season. Oh, good luck. seen the pig go down so I grabbed it and I ran back we're behind the blind Pig man. Pig man. Pig man. So, what do you think I look yeah right? put him down and then um, the rest is history so pretty good pretty good first bear hunt legend and uh, Corey and the guys were awesome they they set us up on all the great spots <laughs> yes! Out one of my screened windows, ends up coming in through here, goes around the bait, and he comes in. Look at that, there's the arrow. Oh, there we go. Beauty, man! Huge thanks to Corey Hayward. Might look familiar, because uh, two years ago, Paul Korn shot his bear here and rolled it over the crib and had all the blood coming out of it. It's a really cool video. Um, he was on out of a tree, so we're on out of a blind. Now. Oh, smoked him. Good shot. Nice job, buddy. What do you think of that? Patient, yeah. followed through. A real short recovery, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. I've been coming here for years, and it, it, it never fails. You know, that no bait is a bad bait. Every bait's got bears, and uh, it's just a matter of putting your time in and getting it done. My day was great. It's 2018 and we just recovered Kirsty's bear. Uh, congratulations, it's a boar. It's a nice boar. Didn't go very far. The bait site's just up there. Bear track outfitter. Spring hunt. Here, bear track outfitters. All of our guests are done. We knocked them dead again. Paul's back up filming and we're in one of those wicked spots that I made. Gosh. He's mowing and we got him, buddy. Smoked! Smoked! 
Oh, we buried him. Paul and I's third bear together. <laughs> what, third sit. Third sit, <laughs> yeah. Uh, one day, 100% for one day sits. Oh. <laughs> the bears had no idea what was going on. But you know what? You always come into a bait that's all ready to go. You know, it's mm -hmm. been getting hit. You've got data. You've been looking at the cameras. You're keeping it baited. You're going through your... You're going through your checklist of, you know, backing off the bait. Bear, man. Beautiful, Beautiful bear. Wow. Probably get out of here, go talk to the guys, and we'll probably come back tomorrow morning. Good job. Can you pick its head up? Look at the front paws on that thing. <laughs> Came out this morning, we walked right to them, and uh, I can't, I'm just amazed. The size of the paws, the head, the beautiful coat on it, it's, uh, thanks. I think I made a really good hit on it. I did not hear a death moan. I didn't hear a gurgle. I did hear some crashing. I think it ran around behind the bait and up the hill. Hopefully we'll find it up there. He is. Down through here. All we got to do is just get him up here. Oh. Get up, man. Yep. Okay. Can't thank Corey with Bear Tracks Outfitters enough. Paul with A1 Archery. Today it came in about a quarter to eleven. Took the shot. Bear took off into the woods. Heard some thrashing around. What a oh, thank thank you. You. Ah, darn nice. What a deal. You know, awesome. what a deal, Ray. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Made a perfect shot and that is the result. Here at Bear Track Outfitters. Ow! Hear that? How do you feel? A little excited. Let's get this guy out of here and then we'll uh, take him back to the shack. Look at his paw. Back at Bear Track Outfitters. Thank you. And you got it done. And this nice big board came in and I just smoked him. Hey, oh, look at that big son of a gun, huh? <laughs> oh, it's let it run. more can you ask for, huh? Our good friend, Corey Hayward, and his staff, his dad, Al, and of course, master bear guide, Cody Kaluski, putting you on the big ones. We honestly could not have had a better hunt. We filled out our group again for the second year in the row in the spring, and uh, just, there's some great bears here, and I'm telling you what, this is the biggest bear I've ever shot. Oh my, look at that. Look That's a dude. monster. He's like, yep, yeah, I got him, Paul. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the hey, head. Hey, man, we got a, we had a great hunt. This is the end of the season, so just like last year, last year I came and I filmed Corey shoot one. I think one of the last days of the season, Probably. and this year all his customers are done. I came back up and uh, and we filmed him shoot this. I know tomorrow is the last day, so it's my 18th year hunting with bear tracks. It just keeps getting oh, better. You guys do a great job up here. Number 18. This is number 18. Yep. Unreal. Just, you know, appreciate the heck of you coming up and hunting with us, oh, Dan. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure yeah. having you in camp. Never oh, hesitates. Yeah. You know, always first guy in camp back to the bear. You know, I, I oh, love it. Oh, last year I got it on the last day. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes you got to work for it. But I think out of 18 years, you're, you're usually number one. This year in total, uh, you know, so we got a few baits left that are rocking, and uh, it's my time to shine. So we're gonna go get our done. We've been watching this one, man. We've had a few bears around us today, that's for sure. Me and Codes have been sitting, I don't know, maybe a couple hours or in there. We've had three different bear come. Real exciting hunt, and you know, appreciate you sitting with me, man. And uh,
a bluff charge at another bear at the barrel right after Dan draws. friend Jeff do some videoing here at Bear Track Outfitters and uh, Gary got her done yep. in the daytime so Great awesome spot. job. That is one of my biggest dreams to shoot a mature whitetail and he was mature big time to every, I think he's a, a big city pointer. It's right here bud. Sumo Creed Outfitter, best place. <laughs> Look at that bad boy huh? Good job, man. Sweet yeah. shot. Just couldn't believe it. You've seen the blood just pumping out. I think we got that footage. There's you know. the barrel. There's the bear. That set a little bit. We, we let go and I think it's a pretty good shot. Yeah. yeah. I think you could use a brighter side. Yeah, well. yeah white patch, man. It's got a super awesome white patch. Yeah, exactly. Perfect shot, wow. Man, he's dumping out the blood and we actually hear him crash just out of our sight. Oh my Lord. I can't believe it's the second evening here and uh, we're in the same blind. We seriously contemplated moving because this morning the sun was coming up and- Look at that. That is a big old based eight point. Wow. South African black wildebeest. animal for the whole trip. That. Big warthog on the ground, perfect shot, right through both lungs. Hey, he smoked, I promise you. What did you see? Is he down? He's down. Yes, another impala down. Perfect shot placement. Day number nine on safari in South Africa. Nice mature Mississippi buck. It happened pretty fast, didn't it? Yeah, it did, boy. It happened real fast. Then he stopped behind that. The first opening he gave me, you called me off because uh, you didn't have a clear clear angle with the camera, and then he walked into a perfect spot for us. And then I believe he fell down on camera and everything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what an awesome deer, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming, Paul. Gosh. Will says we're crazy. beautiful Tom I shot him right here at the decoy and, and I was so glad because it seems like these reels for whatever reason when they get by the decoys they get real nervous <laughs> thank you appreciate it man I'm so excited and just very grateful super trophy a mountain reed buck thanks everyone immediate blood on contact with another Impala shot A devastating wound. This is an absolute perfect shot on yet another Impala. You can see the blood spraying as it runs away. I just absolutely put it right in the right spot. I can see the blood going on both sides, so uh, we're going to call Eurisha and have him come and get it. Must have kind of stumbled around in here because there's look at all the blood right here. Right. appreciate it. The Nutria hunt, it's on.
that's a good one. That's that a good one. <laughs> Throw him on the pile. Another unbelievable hunt. We're gonna go do some skinning here this afternoon. As long as you get above the legs, it usually works out really well. There we looked through the binoculars, and he, he hadn't moved for about probably 30 minutes. I filled my first tag tonight. We're going to get up tomorrow. We're going to go to a different spot. We're going to do it all again. <laughs> first sit in Kansas. We've been here maybe a couple of hours. The round right down in. Stayed wide of the decoys, but I put a shot on it and it is down right there. Didn't even make it out of sight. So I'm gonna go grab that bird and we're gonna hold tight here because I got a, another tag, I got two tags. The 2019 season is off of the bang. Now this is interesting. The bear is almost straight down and the blind is in the way. So I end up sticking the entire bow right out the huge opening to get my shot. Just drilled that cinnamon with the white. It's got a little white V to it. There was two of them here, and they both came in together. It's been an interesting evening, let's just say. Right now I have the smaller cinnamon eating on a beaver carcass right behind me. Thank you, sir. I'll give that to Mr. Dan to hold if you don't mind. He's got all my other stuff. Great <laughs> trip with the crosses. Looking forward to coming back again and hunting, chasing these color phase bears. What an unbelievable deal. Hunting here in Missouri at Tombstone Creek Outfitters. Just got another bearded hen. I've actually been very fortunate on bearded hens. I've got actually three different species of them now. I've got Eastern, I've got Miriams, and I've got Rio Grande. So I kind of got to, I've shot the beard on that hen. It rained a little bit last night. It was raining as I got set up. Everything is kind of soaking Two wet. Two beautiful velvet bugs come in, and I drilled the one with a with a better shot, with the broadside shot. Oh man, so exciting. Bill Mankin, the 4J Ranch. What a spot. I can't believe it. How's that look? There you go. That part. spot because last year I got a nice buck here last year out of the same blind at the same feeder and so we came back here and uh, I was a little more patient this time I was a little concerned because I was shooting pretty close to the feeder but I thought man I can get it in there at just 21 yards you know I'm like I can get it in there at 20 with a little something extra we got in here this morning. This is the same setup where Dad was yesterday, where he shot a really nice big bearded ham, and he gave so he gave me the first crack at him today, and I gave him a quick crash course on how to run the camera. As soon as the tom comes out, just get on him. He did perfect, and we got him. Got him going down. Now, uh, on top of everything else, Dickie Corn is a master filmer. Boy, don't look so excited. Oh. Good morning. Big old. Boss gobbler on the ground. With a perfect shot, this bear only goes 10 yards. He expires in just a few seconds, 
as Paul collects himself and calms his nerves. A quick trip back to camp to get some help getting this bad boy out of the bush. Thanks, Corey. Bear track outfitters. That's it. That's it. Oh, on the money. There he goes. That's a big pig. And he's dead. Yes, that's a monster pig. This is a considered a monster warthog. Good. Good. Full blood arrow. I just shot a kudu. Um, saw some hair come out. And we're on the trail right this now. This is day nine, and I was able to get this beautiful kudu on the ground. Richard makes a textbook shot on this Elon. They get him loaded on the trailer and headed back to camp. We got a really old Nyala. Only went about 50 yards. It was a perfect hard shot. A real trophy. I want to thank everyone at Numsan Safaris. Way to go, Richard. And now, as they're waiting for this one, another good Impala comes in. Richard decides, why not? Let's go for another. Great work, Richard. Within just a couple hours, you arrowed three awesome animals. I'm hunting with Namzan Safari. I don't know why I seen him coming and he was making some noise coming through the brush. I wasn't sure. Here, and that big one walked right into a shooting lane. How can you beat that? October 30th. Wow. What a great hunt, Jeepers. Great. Am I happy with that? And we shot ourselves a nice blush buck. We waited all day for water buck, but they just didn't show up. And then these, this herd came in, and so another good hunt with Nunzam safaris. And this bull just came out of nowhere. He just come from behind a tree and, and made a 35-yard quartering away shot. Just about gave my pH a heart attack. Blush buck come in. I shot this one at about 15 yards. So I'm pretty happy. Sean and I have worked extremely hard for this one, so. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Yeah. Right through him. Perfect shot placement. Took out both lungs and he's hard, I bet. Yep. Yep. And I got it all on video. <gasps> <laughs> Look at them all out there, gosh. They're everywhere. This is a day we will never forget. Hey, how was that for some saltwater boat fishing? Skin dogs to land the stingray. Oh.